So at OPM we have a 24-hour situation room, and the situation room's job is to monitor anything which might affect the status of the federal government in the national capital region. Uh, when we have an event like a snowstorm which is approaching the region, we're very much on top of it and working with our partners and looking at the storm as it approaches. Uh, one of the primary means that we get that situational awareness is to work very closely with our federal, state, and local partners. Uh, the conduit for that is what's called the Council of Governments conference call. Uh, in that conference call, we typically have over 200 uh, representatives from a variety of our partners, uh, from the National Weather Service to the Departments of Transportation for the region, to all of our public transportation providers, including WMATA Bus, WMATA Rail, uh, Amtrak, VRE, and even regional bus services. We have representation from the power companies, such as uh, Virginia Power and Pepco. Uh, we even have uh, law enforcement and school districts there as well. So it's uh, through this avenue that we get the latest and uh, greatest information associated with the storm and it allows us to make timely decisions. Metro will provide information on our operations, letting OPM know what kind of service we're running, if we will be able to get people to work and get them back home. So we're looking not only at the morning commute, but also if there is a severe weather coming for the evening commute, we'll pass that information along as well and OPM will make the final decision. Certainly we have to work very closely with OPM and the regional transportation officials to make sure that when we get our winter weather outbreaks, that the, that the region is ready for it and we can respond appropriately because if everybody's ready, if everybody's prepared, the impacts from these storms will be so much less than storms that uh, does, don't get the proper warning. So it's certainly important to be uh, tied in with weather as we go through the winter time. Weather.gov slash Washington slash winter has all the winter information for the next few days, out through seven days, uh, everything from accumulation numbers when we're closer in to the threat caliber of how big a storm might be out there here five, seven days from now. Also, the regional differences we have across the National Capital Region are so varied between what happens in Annapolis and Waldorf versus what happens in Frederick and out towards western Loudoun County in the west. Uh, our average snowfall here right in the district is about 15 inches of snow, but further out to the east it's closer to 10, further out to the west it's even closer to 30 in some of the higher elevations. So just because it's not snowing right where you are and maybe the rain snow line is a little bit further to the west, the impacts for what's going on in the city and what's going on further to the northwest uh, can be quite a bit different, especially here in the mid-Atlantic. We live in a region of six million people and for more than half of us we live in one jurisdiction and we work in another, um, but weather knows no boundaries. So weather can be a disruptive event for the region and it's important that we collaborate. When it comes to winter weather, I think COG is best known for convening the 3 a.m. snow call. But uh, let me just take you a step back and uh, what happens some days before that 3 a.m. call is we get the forecast from the National Weather Service and that goes to the transportation planners. We call that May talk. Then uh, when uh, the National Weather Service has a more precise forecast and forecasts that accumulations uh, might happen that affect the commute, that's when OPM and COG initiate a snow call. So MATOC is a joint program between Maryland DOT, Virginia DOT, DC DOT, and WMATA. And we basically make sure that their centers, their operation centers, are coordinating, communicating, sharing information so that when things occur on either side of the river, or the borders, that everybody knows what's going on. When we have severe weather, that presents a lot of challenges. So we actually have to reach out to our maintenance counterparts in the DOT uh, uh, sector, and we have to bring those folks together and look at their mobilization plans, look at the forecast that the National Weather Service has put out, and uh, have a discussion. Is this event going to be a severe event, uh, a moderate event, or a minor event that we can get through pretty easily? Um, it basically allows OPM to have a direct line of communications with the area DOTs as well as the area transit operators. So OPM is a, it's a great partner uh, for the district. We work together uh, in pretty significant ways, especially when there's going to be a significant event that will affect uh, traffic, uh, commuter traffic, especially or motorists in general. Uh, typically, uh, what happens the night before uh, an inclement weather event is due to occur, we would have spoken to uh, the, uh, the Office of Personnel Management through MATOC uh, once or twice. Um, and there's also a call with COG where we're providing very specific details on our deployment plans. Uh, if you are telework eligible prior to an event, you want to make sure that you bring your computer home, that you bring any work materials home, uh, just in the event that we do unscheduled leave and unscheduled telework. 
Uh, I'd also suggest that uh, all employees sign up for the OPM app. Uh, that'll give you the latest information which will be pushed to you if we make any status operating changes. And last, I'd say visit ready.gov. That'll give you lots of useful information on emergency planning and preparedness tips for both you and your family.